a music teacher had four boxes of recorders. There were nine recorders in each box. The music teacher gave an equal number of recorders to each of his six classes. How many recorders did each class receive? All right. First, before we can solve the problem, we need to understand the problem. And that starts with knowing what the question is asking us. This question is asking us, how many recorders did each class receive? So that is the question we're trying to answer. All right. Also, part of understanding the problem comes with knowing what important details or information is in that problem that will help us answer this question. So, we see that he had four boxes of recorders. And there was nine recorders in each box. And he gave an equal number to six classes. All right, let's come up with the plan now to solve this problem. So because I see that the equal number of recorders are going to each of his six classes, this makes me think that there are equal groups going on in this problem. When I have equal groups, I usually go to the strategy G E T. G standing for the groups that I have, E standing for the equal number that goes in each group, and then T the total. So, let's start with how many groups do we have? Well, I've got four boxes. So that's four groups. And then E since the equal number what's going into each group. In this case, I have nine recorders going into each group. And then how many total recorders I have? Well, that I don't know. So, I am going, because the total is missing here, all right, I'm going to make my four groups of nine, which means I am multiplying to find the total. I am multiplying four times nine. So to do this, I'm going to split up four into two twos. Two plus two equals four. So two times nine plus two times nine will equal the same thing as four times nine. So two times nine. All right, that's a double. Nine plus nine is 18. So two times nine is 18. All right, now I've got to put those two together. 18 plus 18. That equals 36. So he has a total of 36 recorders. However, the question is asking how many recorders each class received, not how many total recorders did he pass out. So that takes us back to rem remember he had gave his recorders to his six classes, equal number to each class. So let's do another GET. We know he has 36 total recorders, and he's splitting them up equally to six classes. This time, since I know my total, and that total is being split up equally into groups, we are going to divide. So 36 divided by 6. So I'm going to make 6 circles to represent my 6 classes that he's splitting his recorders equally to. And instead of just going with 1, I'm going to count by 2. Make it easier. I'm trying to get to my total 36. So. If I put 2 in each group, that gives me 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Not there yet. So let's put another 2 into each group. 
So I had 12, now I have 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. I'm trying to get to 36. Let's go with another 2. So now I had 24, now I have 26, 28, 30, getting close, 32, 34, and 36. So there's 36 total split up into 6 groups. And then each group has three sets of two. So that is two, four, six. So 36 divided by six equals six. So how many recorders did each class receive? Each class received six recorders. Okay, let's look at another problem. This is so much fun, right? 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 Okay. Miss Losoya has 72 index cards. She will arrange the cards in six equal stacks. How many index cards will be in each stack? All right. Again, to help us understand the problem, we need to first understand what the question is asking us. It's asking us how many index cards will be in each stack. We also need to know the important details or information that will help us answer this question. So in this case, Miss Latoya has 72 index cards and she's arranging them into six equal stacks. Alright, so again, I see that I'm arranging something into equal groups, so therefore I'm going to go to my GET strategy. All right, do I know how many groups I have? Well, there's six equal stacks at six equal groups. Do I know how much is in each stack, though? Actually, I do not. The question is asking us how many index cards will be in each stack. So we do not know that. Then... What is my total? Well, we got 72 total cards being put into the stacks. So in this case, I have my total spending, being split up equally into six equal groups. When the total is being split up equally into groups, you are going to be dividing. We are going to divide 72 divided by Six. 72 index cards divided into six equal stacks. So, let's make six circles here to represent the six stacks. Now, I have a total of 72 that I mean that's going to be split up into six stacks. And I see that I have seven tens there. Therefore, instead of splitting up one by one, I'm going to start by splitting up 10 at a time. 10 in each group. Alright, so with 10 in each group, that gives me 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Alright, used up most of my 72. Used up 6 out of the 7 10s. That leaves only 1 10 left, so I don't think I have enough to do any more groups of 10. Therefore, I'm going to now go to splitting up two at a time. So two more into each group. All right, so I had 60. Now with two in each group, I have 62, 64, 66, 68, 70. Yeah, so close, 72. All right, my whole 72 is split up into the six stacks. And in each stack, I have... 10 and 2, that makes 12. 72 divided by 6 equals 12. Therefore, how many index cards will be in each stack? There will be 12 cards in each stack. And yep, you guessed it. Nailed it!